I don't want to be called the hood anymore. So what do you want to be called? This year, Arrow took DC TV to an all new level. From start to finish, it was packed with shockers and surprise cast appearances, as Oliver Queen squared off against his former friend turned mortal enemy Slade Wilson. Welcome to my top 10 moments from season 2, with some honourable mentions at the end. Is it it? Arrow kicked off its second season in style by introducing DC heroine, the Black Canary. And as her identity was revealed, it was someone who Oliver knew all too well. Sarah? I'll give you some time to let it sink in. Their designated Task Force X. Give me a break. At number nine, Diggle was tasked with his own mission, where he had to team with some very unlikely allies. We also saw a short but sweet cameo from Harlequin, who brought with her huge hopes that somewhere along the line, villains with the magnitude of the Joker could be brought in for a story arc. This ain't no Task Force. Let's call it like it is. Welcome to the Suicide Squad. Oliver, I'd like you to meet Slade Wilson. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Queen. I could not get over the look of shock on Oliver's face here. He was completely flabbergasted upon returning home to find none other than Slade Wilson sitting right in his living room. Not yet, kid. I'm still to meet the rest of your family. Daughter of Rachel Gould. Heir to the demon. Coming in at number seven is the League of Assassins. They were led by daughter of Ra's al Ghul, Nyssa, as they made their debut in Starling. And it's now been confirmed that leader of the League of Assassins himself, Ra's al Ghul, will indeed be appearing in season three. Any casting ideas so far? If half of the stories that I have heard about Ra's al Ghul are true, we will all pay. Time to choose, Oliver, who lives and who dies. But pick quickly, because in 30 seconds, I will shoot them both. In at number six, just like in season one, was a complete shocker. Shadow had become an integral part of the story on the island. But after being captured by Ivo and his men, Oliver was faced with an impossible situation to choose who lives and who dies. Time's up. What are you? No! I guess you made your choice. was acquitted from her trial, but in truth, no one could see why. But as Moira was travelling home, the real reason to why she was freed emerged. Imagine my joy at learning that Thea is my daughter. Don't. 
Season 2 had plenty of emotional scenes, but nothing came close to the emotion displayed on screen here. When Slade captured Oliver, Moira and Thea, he forced Oliver into an all too familiar decision. You did not pass that on to your son. <laughs> You know who he is under that hood, don't you? I know exactly who he is. He's my friend. At number three, this reveal was nothing short of spectacular. After teasing Slade's possible turn to Deathstroke, Slade was back in Starling, as the true villain for season two was revealed, and he laid out his plans for exactly what was to come. I am going to tear everything he cares about away from him. Destroy those who choose to follow him. Corrupt those he loves. Once he has lost everyone and everything he values, I will drive an arrow through his eye. Rise and shine, kid. It's time. Coming in second on the list, we're back on the island, as we bear witness to the iconic scene of Oliver donning the hood for the first time, but he wasn't the only one to wear a mask. An easy choice took top spot for me this year, and it goes to the final battle between Oliver and Slade. After over a year of building up their friendship, to a year of watching it slowly fall apart, Oliver and Slade finally came head to head to settle the score. The choreography of these scenes was simply stunning, as they mirrored the fight on the Amazo to the fight in Starling brilliantly, giving us a perfect send-off to a wonderful season. Now onto some honourable mentions, which were some other great scenes from season 2 that didn't make it into my top 10. I know Slade. He is not going to stop until... Welcome home. <laughs> the surprise on the team's face was apparent, as they arrived back at the Arrow Cave to find none other than Slade waiting to greet them. Don't forget who taught you how to fight, kid. Hi. I'll be your interrogator. Is this a joke? Clinton Ho, social security number 306003894. Interrogation took an all new approach here, as Felicity was given the task to try and break down the captor for the information they needed. What should I do with the rest? Greenpeace. Great cause! Bitch. Bitch with Wi Fi. poisoned me and put me in a hole. You have no idea how much I hated you for that. As the Count took Felicity hostage, Oliver was left with no choice but to break his vow of not killing, or else he'd lose Felicity. Consider this your penalty for making me go to Plan B in the first place. <laughs> uh! 
After witnessing Brother Blood inject Roy with the Mirakuru, one of the three ghosts appear that spurs Oliver on to get up and fight. So fight, Oliver. Get up and fight back. Kill him. As Deathstroke's army tears across Starling City, causing chaos and havoc everywhere they go, only by standing together can our heroes achieve victory. So there we are, that's my list for Season 2 complete. Is there any scenes there that you think have missed? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I was wrong about you. You're definitely an idiot. <laughs> That's who I am.